What's good, everyone? Raging Yoshi here with another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD Level 1. Okay, you just saw me hit that. If you don't hit that, you can't continue over to the next boss fight. That opens a door, which allows you to get into the next boss fight. Uh, what do I have here that I can get? Anything important I should be... What am I doing? What am I doing? Hands, stop doing stupid stuff. So basically, last time we beat Lock, Shock, and Barrel, we scaled up Oogie Boogie Manor. Now we're gonna go fight Oogie Boogie and smack him in the face. Enemies are here. I need to make sure I drop off in the correct location. There's a nice little chest just sitting there. There's a more little nice chest just sitting there. And we're good. Okay, very good. You just need to drop down here, green door here. And we enter the torture chamber. That's that just so nice and easy and simple and stuff. Oh, that's right, I actually have to scroll through a text thing, then it turns into a cutscene. Alright, now we have the Oogie Boogie fight. This fight was torture. For little um, middle school Tim, who couldn't figure out how he was supposed to fight this guy. This is like the hardest. Okay, we don't want him up there. We don't want him up there. We want him on one of these. Moving in. Good luck. Missed the button. Good job. We're, we're bad at that. So, right now we're going to actually use the damage doors technique again. There we go. Get the summon of Genie out. Since we've gotten that finisher off, as I said previously, Genie will mimic the damage of the finisher, giving every hit of his spell a finisher property. Lock on. That was less than perfect, but that should have gotten a decent bit of damage out. Oh my goodness! Uh, this is scary. I hate this. Alright, so hopefully that should have almost killed Oogie. If it, I don't think it will happen when he kills him. Oh, yep. He was pretty close. It was, it was probably just one more hit from one more hit that wasn't a stop from Genie, and it probably would have killed him in one shot. That sucks a little bit that our damage out from the Genie was just wasn't quite right, but it wasn't awful. So no complaints, no complaints whatsoever. And we get a Holy Cricket and answer port number seven. I do believe that the Holy Cricket does increase our MP. So now here is a bit of an annoying part. Damn it. Damn. Alright. So, you thought Oogie Boogie was bad. This is Oogie Boogie Manor, which is annoying. This, basically what we have to do at this point, we have to scale Oogie Boogie and take out all of these little black ball things. These are the power characters that turn Oogie Boogie into this giant monster house thing. More of a monster house than the actual monster house from the movie Monster House. But I digress. Because this is actually a very, very. This isn't that bad of a fight. As you can see, I'm just smacking away at this thing. Okay, it takes a lot of combos to take each one of these things down. And after a certain number of them have been destroyed, 
they kinda will start spawning heartless near them. And when they spawn heartless near them, you know the heartless tend to try to kick us in the dick. Which is bad. It's always two gargoyles for a moment correctly. And as you see, they also do Spitfire. They have Gahi just got wrecked. Let's see, which way do I want to go? I want to come down and take this thing off. Okay, there we go. So we've killed three so far. And yeah, once three go down, that's when you notice. Jeez. You notice this really isn't exactly a nice fight. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly how much damage takes these things out. Because the, tr the way the trick for this fight works is what you do. Is you knock each of them to like one combo with them death. And then you just run from one to another, combo it once and finish it. Okay, this is probably the key. Yep, okay. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually carefully approach the first one and kind of count my damage on it, for lack of any better way to put it. Because it's after three are down that I have to be careful. And the only problem is I can't remember if there are six or seven of these things on here. But, so the first one is the important one. It's the one where we're going to count our combos. One, one two, three. One, two, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, in the 15th combo is when it died. Um, I did hit it with a couple hits before I started counting combos. So it's about 15 full combos. So we'll hit them with, we'll hit it with about 14 combos then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 12, 13, <sighs> okay. Goofy smacking it with me actually messed up my count. So yeah, okay, that's always good. So, Goofy did a lot of damage to that thing, and that's actually really bad. So we're going to stop at 12 combos if they're hitting it with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? And and now. Oh, okay, we've killed three. So you know what? This this attempt is a wash because I don't think I'm going to be able to survive. Heal. Heal. So let's try to figure out how many we're. We killed three. We know where four is. Okay, 
I'm not gonna be able to finish these off with all the stuff that's in the way. If it was just one last one I need to get, then maybe, but the fact that I still have at least three, it's a big old bag of milk. Okay, up here, there's one. So that makes five. There's this one that's six. Okay, I want to say there's only six. It, it looks like there's only six. Okay. That was unfortunate, honestly. <sighs> Don and Goofy messed up my accounts. So, okay, if Don and Goofy hit them at all, I have to stop at 11. Because, Jesus, they do more damn. They do more damage than I can account for. So let's see how this time is going to go. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's the first one that's working. That's the first one that's working. Heal. And 
I missed one. There's seven. F. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not as catastrophic as I thought it as it could that's not this isn't as bad as it could have been. We just need to find the last one and take it out. Okay, this one's actually in a really good spot, so it's actually not going to be a Yes. Yes. Okay. We're good. The strategy worked out pretty well. I miss. I didn't know there was one over here. I forgot. I always forget what the last one is. Unfortunately, with this fight, Ugh. that could have been much worse though. That could have been so much worse. But you know what? That's fine. We learned the final magic spell, gravity. Now, Sally, I need to check some stuff. But we did manage to beat that. That was pretty painless, about as painless as I expected it to be. So real quick, I want to check my items. We have two torn pages, that is good. Equipment. Holy Cricket does not increase our MP, actually. That's unfortunate. Oh, I thought it did. That makes me all sad. But we have two torn pages, which I think that's all we need. I don't think we need a third one. I really hope we don't, because I'm not going to get a third one. Um, let me check something. I know there's stuff in here somewhere. Halloween Town's so fucking misty, like I can't even see shit. <laughs> Come on, game. Work with me, game. Game. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we have over here. Power up. Okay, that's useful ish. I don't think we need any more torn pages though, so we are going to go through a guillotine gate and we're going to leave this world, since this is technically the only way for us to leave the world. <laughs> There's no real technically, this is the only way for us to exit this world. <laughs> yeah, my match is as good as Donald's now, woohoo! So now we can go and talk to Merlin. So we're gonna do a quick warp over the Traveston. And why are we warping to a Travis Town? So, because we currently have all seven spells in the game at their basic level. And by gaining all seven spells at their basic level, we can now go to Merlin and get the weapon that we're gonna be using for the rest of the game. What is some Merlin? Some We get the Spellbinder. Now, why? No, I don't want to practice music. No, no. My God. Gosh dang it. Yeah, this is the practice magic. Practice magic. It sucks. I want to leave. We're gonna go back. This is basically where you can just practice your spells and figure out what all your spells do and how they work. So, equipment, we're gonna go and equip Spellbinder. This boosts our MP up to six. Quite a large amount. And we're actually not done here because we're going to examine this book.
Now, why are we examining this book, you say? Because this is the adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And so this world, basically in this game, is a side world where you can do all these fun little mini games with Pooh and his friends, and they're annoying and tedious and kind of boring. But you do get stuff for doing it. Such as we get this a level up of the stop spell, and we get what do we get? We get stop, and we get Bambi. Now Bambi is no longer used in runs that I've seen of this game at level one, but I mean technically using old strats, really old strats. And this is the sick and Bambi is the only strats that I know. I don't know any of the other strats. What's in here? Got a missile shard. You're completely useless to me. Uh, do we return to the map? So real quick, we're gonna go into here and we're going to save because next episode we are going to be taking on the side world known as the Book of Pooh. <laughs> I will always call it the Book of Pooh. Um, so, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a comment, like, and please subscribe. Deuces!